Go for it. Hitting button. Let's see if we crash a bird. I don't want to do that. Not you. <laughs> All Anyone right. Else well, maybe, maybe not John, because John's the one with the explosives. <laughs> Why does John have explosives? <laughs> Why wouldn't I have explosives? Let's be real here. That's, that's, that's very fair. That's entirely fair. <laughs> okay. Um... We're we've only been live for like twenty seconds, but we're staying pretty chill. How's it on your end? So far, so good. Good. I can't check. I'm driving. I don't want you to check. You need to keep both hands on the wheel, Mister. I mean, I have one hand on the top of the wheel, and my other one's being. Uh, uh, no, my other one's on the clutch. No, not the clutch. The thing to go up and down. The you prindle. Yes. <laughs> Park reverse neutral driving low. <laughs> Park reverse neutral driving low. The print. I'm gonna turn on the radio. Do you guys recommend F or M? Right, we are both um, live on YouTube. So. Yeah. I promise it'll be non copyright. Uh, I can't promise it won't be non copyright. That's yeah. Yeah, no, we're... Yeah, let me just put a good word with the radio people to do the non-copyright stuff. So, I sure think... sure they'll understand. I think, based on... Oh, I'm starting to lag a little bit. Um, I think based on the internet tests, it can maintain. Woohoo! Yeah, I think then we're good. Yippee! All right. I like it a very small amount, but I'm not sure if that's Albion or if that's us. Um, I will say my YouTube lagged a little bit just a second ago, but other than that, I don't know. But welcome on in, whoever is chilling in the chat. I see you. And I adore you. <laughs> Alright. But either way, I am going to uh, be continuing to play Radical Red today. Can I talk now? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to boot me out of the call, though? I'd, I'd leave, but I am uh, in the middle of a boss fight. I'm going to be here for quite some time. i got to do this with the druidic staff. Okay. okay. Say bye to the hubby. <laughs> right, bye. <laughs> how, how do I kick him? From the call. I got it. I think I can do it. Disconnect. Sorry, I did sorry. not make that mistake. <laughs> I almost kicked him from the server. Because I was not paying attention. Oh, I did that before. Oh, I know you have. <laughs> Wait a minute, Kevin. Why did I just realize? Why am I just now realizing that you would have had to grab your phone and text that? <laughs> I was wondering what you would realize. <laughs> You're a turd. And I, I want to boop. I flick you in your I general direction. I was at a red light and I'm out in my driveway. I am parked. Well, good. Dagum ya. All right, I do not remember what our level cap is. I want to say it's like 55 or so. Oh, that's reverse. That's going forward. Oh, my. No, we, we really wanted I to... I got my license. I, I wonder yeah, how so... you got your license. <laughs> I, I just went back into my garage, and all of a sudden I started going forward. I'm like, oh, that's not reverse. That was neutral. Oh, also a ditch in front of me, so that would have been bad. Yeah, that would have been quite bad. I'll also again, I want to get again. I want to get a new car, but that ain't the way. Yeah, John, I don't know if you saw this, but I got May Francis in the last stream. I love him, and he has Wind Rider. <laughs> he also has a sassy spray, and I love it. He's got. I know. I just noticed that he's got Dragon Tail Recover, Drain Punch, and Giga Drain. You're... What kind of moveset oh, is that? You have to remember the. Best kind. the it's chaos, is what it is. Because that's all of this. Screens into the heavens! I mean, Hi, Angie. It's all, Yell it's at Kevin. It's also Francis, which makes sense. <laughs> we, we also had a level one fire chicken. So there's that. Okay, then. Continues to scream. <laughs> we also got two daggum uh, Zamazentas. <laughs> okay, pop off. Well, it stinks because that uh, the first one was an egg and the other one was the Eevee. And it's like, oh, we didn't want that. 
<sighs> and unfortunately, Puppy's not that great. Because he has triage, which would be great, you know, if he actually had healing moves. And then he doesn't have a, a single, single stab move. <sighs> that is the one downside to this, um, what you call it? This randomizer doing uh, the move sets and stuff. Because hardly anybody has stab moves. You have poison fang. I believe that's stab. Yeah, you're bug poison. You also have aftermath. I'm sorry, I'm just having a moment. Hey, I had a moment the other day. I had propped up my laptop on the arm of this chair after I'd been sitting in there so that I could, you know, watch my hubby stream for a little bit. And when he ended, I closed the laptop and then like rocked that chair to get up. And when I did, it knocked the laptop off of this chair and the corner went right into the flat part of my big toe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, wow. so I have a gnarly bruise. This was, I think, Saturday. Yeah, so I have a gnarly bruise across the, like, little knuckle part of my toe. <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Oh. It was horrible. But... You know, I immediately got up, you know, hobbled into that room, face planted on the bed, and just screamed <laughs> into the sheets. An understandable reaction. And he's just like, you good? And I'm like, no! <laughs> I am screaming to the heavens for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What? Yes. Hang on. What do we have? Stop hitting the wrong buttons. We have Brian... Tommy, flame on, incognito, rabbit dude, though? and Jacob. Actually, that's a pretty well-rounded team. I know we did that specifically for the Giovanni fight, but honestly, this is a pretty solid team. Um, does anybody remember uh, our level cap? I lose it on a daily. Amen, sister. Amen. Where is my coffee cup? The fact that you have to say that. I don't know if I left it at work. Is either one of three things. I either left it at work. I either left it on the roof of the car and drove from work and it fell off. Or it's somewhere in the Mark! back of my bag. Hi, friend. And honestly, it can... Forgot to go to things. bed! Mark! I I pray to God I didn't leave it on my, on my roof of my car and drove away because it's either in the parking lot on the hill to work or on the highway somewhere or destroyed or both oh any way any of those three ways we make it destroyed i mean if you have or one of those crack. stainless steel ones those those little boogers could probably get run over by a car and be fine <laughs> oh it's not it's a plastic one from walmart okay never mind yeah that thing's definitely gone <laughs> that thing's definitely gonzo so where the hell did i put it mark i do want to uh fuss only because you should be getting sleep so i will say that but also hi i missed you so i'm happy to see you love you buddy so whatever he's going through i'm still screaming <laughs> oh wait you can't hear kevin at all what do you mean you can't hear kevin what did i do hello can you not hear the desktop audio i hear kev just fine okay so I'm not crazy. I'm just a little unwell. Um, so now I have to go back and do, uh, what you call it, Lavender Town, right? Found it. No, I can, but I'm at work, so I have the volume down. Oh, okay. I found it. It was not on the roof. It's not in a parking lot. It was on my door on the other side of my car. How I got there, I don't know. It must have fallen when I put it in the seat. I don't know, but I found it. There you go. You found it, and that's all that matters, right? Actually, I need to double check that I have Pokeballs, because we have learned that, uh, yeah, Pokeballs are a necessity. Also, w when can we buy Ultra Balls? I don't think I ever found where we could buy Ultra Balls. Um, let me bag. Where oh, is... that's right. I have a bag in my back seat that I gotta bring in my house. Well, I'm glad I said bag, even though that was totally not what I was referring to, but cool. Where did it go? No, I just remembered I have... Oh, there's my bag of clothes I keep to bring in the house. Beep! Hi, Kyle. 
Let me check Celadon, see if Celadon actually has... Would love to visit again, but don't tell Kev, he gets jealous. <laughs> yeah, because you go everywhere else but up here. I guess it's you fuchsia been, that we need. haven't been up surf. this way since pack 2020. It's been four years. Get your butt up here. I almost said the other word. I, I knew you had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not that one. I think I did buy some timer balls last time. Which would be pretty good for don't us, but I need... No! Why don't you have Ultra Balls? Mark, just come up here uh, in November, like we said on Twitter. Here, I am going to buy 31 particular... It'll give you both a travel buddy. Okay. Alright. So I just muted, so if you tried to re-explain, I saw nothing. <laughs> Finally have my energy drinks and, and I'll tell you later. yippee, I got gummy bear flavored. Ooh. Ooh, I still need to... Where's my phone? There's my phone. Oh, I guess my switch probably Can turned off. Up? That's okay. Let me... Oh, shoot. I'm on 4% battery. I guess that's what happens when you play video games on your phone all day. <laughs> That'll do it. Actually, I'll shouldn't have dropped that, but oh well. Oh goodness. Okay, where is I need Amazon. I am an Amazon. What? what? Okay, Get up. Saturday. Cool. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. I don't Get know up. who you're yelling at, but rude. And I'm my dog is barking at me. Shut up! I said, no bark. So many things are going crazy. Babe, I can't hear you. Don't even try. I want a face split. <laughs> oh, Angie, if only you knew. <laughs> Has a hint of bubble and gum in its flavor, which stands out more. Interesting. I would have had it. See, I would have had a cotton candy slushy earlier, but someone stole it from me. Is that someone named Angie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should be a cartoon character? Yes. Yes. Okay, why is this house the only house that is not blocked by a uh, Team Rocket grunt? I'll take TM29 from Mr. Psychic. You didn't order me my Diet Coke, so to be fair, it was mine. <laughs> oh, that's the only thing she hears me say in calls. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it would be Tweety. <laughs> she would be Tweety Bird. <laughs> like I could just imagine, you know, you go in to, you know, audition to be a voice actor, and they're like, "Well, you know, tell me your your kind of range of your voices. What do you have? You have like the super buff kind of dude. You have the old grandma." <laughs> and Angie'd be like, "I can be Tweety." <laughs> I, I bet you that would be exactly how that goes. And they would be yeah, like, yes, honestly. you'd be a perfect Tweety. <laughs> I would love to exist in the Phineas and Ferb art style. I could not imagine having such a pointed head, though. You know? I just do slap. That's fair. You just be that, that guy running around the uh, back of the orchestra. Have you guys seen that clip where they're doing sleigh ride and the uh, guy comes around through the back and just <laughs> for the clapper oh, the things? Sla the slapsticks. Yeah. The actual slapsticks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Still not seeing great or ultra balls, which is very, very upsetting. Overarching style, not so much exactly Phineas and Ferb. Well, that's fair. But to be fair, Phineas is not the only one with a triangular shaped head. I am. My head's a triangle. I'm Woodstock confirmed. Oh, I didn't want to oh, fight you yet. Oh, poop. <laughs> Marty the Rabbit Boy. Did that say Iron Boulder? Oh dear. 
least you're only 36. And his mus musical blender. <laughs> oh, I gotta rewatch Phineas and Ferb. See, I only watched a little bit of that because by the time that it was starting to really come on, I was already, you know, late middle school, I think. Are I was you kidding me? I watched it all the way through high school. Well, yeah. Can I be the duck from Tom and Jerry? I don't know. I could be Elmer Fudd, just need, need to work on my stutter. <laughs> no, no, he doesn't and really have uh, a stutter. He has more of a of a lisp. That is so, a sable no, knight. All right, hold on. I want to answer that question for the duck. No, you are not the duck because the duck in Tom and Jerry thinks it's ugly, and I know what you're trying to say. So no, don't go there. And I will have everyone in chat yell at you. I'll use my power. What do you mean you can't hear me? You literally just responded me for me. Okay, this is the absolute most fitting thing that we could have found in Lavender Tower. Just saying. We found a Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Oh, you turd. Why do you have Techno Blast? Just behind a curtain exact silhouette. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about the duck that wanted to migrate south. <laughs> I mean, yeah. The same duck that was I don't want to lisp. But, but Mark, that's kind of the whole shtick with, uh... Oh, you pain-splitted. That's not that good, because now I'm probably going to kill you. Oh, I didn't. That was nice, actually. Um, Let's go incognito. I don't care, let me be him. <laughs> I mean, it's less of a, of a lisp. It's a speech impediment. That's the proper term. Because he talks about wabbits. Hunting wabbits. I... Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. <laughs> Whew. Oh, poop. I'm going to kill it because of the sandstorm, aren't I? I should have thought about that. Fine, I'm Mini Woodpecker from that one episode that Jerry took care of. Oh, no, because of the hail. We're fine. Okay, bag. The fact that I can say that now feels very, very strange. Because, you know, for the longest time, hail did damage. Elmer also doesn't have a beard. You know, you got a point there. Do you have a rifle? Specific for hunting wabbits? <laughs> oh, goodness. We were actually talking about, like, cosplays and stuff. Will and I were the other day. <laughs> and uh, apparently he, uh, he cosplays as one... Of the doctors from Doctor Who and wants to cosplay a different one. So now I've just got cosplay on the brain. Now I wanna watch Tom and Jerry, dang it. <laughs> yeah. Mimi Q. Stop being rude. The one with the great ball. Okay, incognito avoided. Yay, you're a good boy. Good boy, incognito. Okay. I am Woodstock now. To be fair, Woodstock is like the chillest character from the Peanuts. Just straight chillin'. We're gonna shift in. I see a lot of Tom and Jerry on TikTok and it makes me nostalgic. See, that's funny to me, because I'm just like, why are you seeing that on TikTok of all places? And then I think, why are you on TikTok? <laughs> but that's just because, like, I'm like, no to, like, I don't, I don't like using TikTok. I already have enough problems with the Facebook doom scroll. I don't need help. I got rid of, well, I didn't get rid of my Instagram. I still have my Instagram. But I don't use my Instagram anymore because of that. Welcome on in, Death Star. I was trying to cut back on my doom scrolling and well we see how that worked out for me. <laughs> it just changed the doom scroll, so. Yay, we finally caught Mimikyu! Why did you think I forgot to go to that you know what? Fair. We can blame it on the TikTok Doom Scroll. What are we nicknaming this Mimikyu? We could name it Death Star, that'd be kinda of fun. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna name it Death Star. <laughs> Oh, that's not the right thing. Hang on. 
There we go. Where's the A? There's the A. Death. Star. Because that is the most appropriate name for this thing ever. I, I just don't know who I'd be in reality. You know what? Fair. <laughs> Half the time, I don't know what's going on in my life. <gasps> okay. So I am going to go ahead and heal up our team because our team's kind of been beaten up. Okay. Okay, we have a Froki to start with. With Sandstream as well. So he's got a similar ability that we do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's go okay. with Drain Kiss, I guess. I don't know. At least Bryone has stab moves. How dare the frog pick up this? You know what? Thematically, it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, there have been puppy streams without me. Because, you know, they were him. <laughs> but I, I feel like that should be a theme of a stream. Like, if and when we ever get a puppy. The whole stream is just the puppy. If you guys don't get one, I'm going to be shocked. I want one so badly, but we just can't have one in this apartment. Like, it just, it would not end well for anyone involved. Like, because there's no fenced-in yard, and I'm a very big proponent of fenced-in yards for dogs. Because they need to be able to run around. And I don't, like, some of our neighbors have the chains and stuff. And so they'll just leave the dog out on the chain. And I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I understand if, like, that's what you have to do. I just don't like that. It's a personal thing. Why are there so many synesthes? But it's like, could you hire me as a dog sitter? I wish. <laughs> but like, even our apartment, like, you know, even if we you know, had been, you know, cleaned up and everything, because right now it's a mess. Like, I'm, fin I'm finally getting through my dishes. Oh my goodness. I don't know if there's just been, like, a black hole in my kitchen for weeks or what. But I'm finally down to, like, the last pile of uh, dishes that have been left over for weeks. <laughs> don't ask me why it's taking that long. It just has. But I'm going to get to it later today. I need to pack up all the lunch stuff. And then I'll... Uh, Put all that away. And clean up those last bit of dishes. But like, there's just no real room for a dog to be running around, you know? That was my whole point with that. <laughs> I just got stuck on the rabbit trail. The wabbit trail. <laughs> the wabbit trail. Okay. Do you say dishes? Well, I invite you not to look <laughs> uh, to not look at my kitchen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get up here. You I didn't even know you were up here. You snuck up here. You good? Damn you. Kevin. I'm sorry. My sister just scared the living shit out of me. <laughs> so without further ado, false head. I came upstairs to shower and then all of a sudden she turns the corner like, boo, hi. Oh, goodness. On that Magic note, and mayhem. Welcome on in. <laughs> All right, have fun. I'm thank gonna go shower. Yep. I might have to use the bathroom. Yeah, too, and that. thank you, fellas, uh, for helping out earlier. Uh, for those of you who do not know, we were doing a test because currently my husband is also live in the other room. <laughs> so we were trying to see, you know, like, is this even going to be possible to attempt? And. I think we've determined that, yes, it is. You guys let me know in chat, it, has there been any lagging issues or anything like that? Or has it been pretty steady? Because that would be very, very nice to know. Scared the living shoes out of you? That must hurt, yeah. I. First off, how are shoes living? And second off, how'd they get inside of you? Because that 
That just screams bellyache. Dude, when you leave siblings listen, to do the dishes, listen. they are never done. <laughs> yep. Listen, I don't question anything anymore. After the stories I've heard from Ange and what she's had to x-ray, especially today, nothing will surprise me anymore. I assume you had to do um, the bottom half. X-ray, right? Yes. <laughs> yep. I'll let her be the one to explain it. <laughs> but it might have to be after stream. Yep. <laughs> Kevin, personal stuff. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, you're fine. You don't have to tell if you don't want. I got it enough. <laughs> personal stuff. <laughs> No, trust us. We've all heard the stories of uh, ER trips and things. Pure poison. Shoes do live, though, because you can never find the pair. You can only find the one. Yeah, you know what? You're right. That'd be another thing I'd be terrified of. Um, I ain't telling him anything anymore. <laughs> um, you know, some people, when they get puppies, do not train them. And so they chew on things. And they eat things, like shoes! Yes, I've had my shoes eaten by dogs that were not mine. I was very upset. <laughs> Angie, tell me instead I don't talk to anyone! <laughs> oh, Mark! Oh, Mark! Never change, friend. Never change. <laughs> oh. The healing circle. My dog never- See, none of the dogs I've ever had would chew stuff unless they were given stuff to chew. Uh, my mom actually, when she adopted the two new dogs uh, back in like November, December e time, uh, ran into that problem. One of her dogs chewed up a bunch of stuff. My dog chewed our toys. That's just- So we had a little Jack Russell when we were growing up. Uh, and by growing up, I mean from 2nd grade to 11th grade. Um, and she never chewed on things. The uh, Actually, that's not true. There was one thing that she would consistently chew. It was my headphones. I don't know why. But sp very specifically, I don't know if you guys really remember. Not these ones with the cushions on them. But the ones with like the fabric-y like this is like a leathery I'm talking like the um what you call it like kind of woven-y fa fabrics you know what I'm talking about but those kinds with the little thin metal wire frame I'm, I'm probably dating myself it's fine <laughs> that for whatever reason she would chew that but like that was it And then she would eat her food. I still, I will never forget this because it made me so angry. My, so I had just cut up a slice. I believe it was the last slice actually of cheesecake. And I had set myself down in my mom's chair to, to eat it. You know, in front of the TV and all that good stuff. And then my brother called me into the den to watch something on the computer. When I came back, my plate was empty. I don't even think there was a crumb on that plate. An entire slice of cheesecake that little dog ate. <laughs> and I was gone for no joke three minutes. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> I was like, Pumpkin! Because <laughs> that was her name. Her name was Pumpkin. <laughs> But yeah, for the most part, she didn't chew up stuff. Like, that was one of the few things she chewed was the was the pair of headphones. And she did it consistently because my brother kept deliberately leaving them places, even though they were mine. She also ate an entire sandwich once. <laughs> I think it was like a ham sandwich, so it wasn't like it was grapes or anything like that that were bad for dogs. <laughs> I have to close my door half the time to snack due to my other cat thing and everything I eat is also his <laughs> spoiled brat. Yes. <laughs> also, I'm just now realizing Zwylus is quad weak to fairy. Hm. 
Like, even cheesecake. Yep. Yep. Yeah, definitely the, uh, the uh, cheesecake. Not planning to change except underwear. They get smelly after a while. Yeah, that does not excuse the, the, the need to shower. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't realize you had cats. You guys know me. Cats do not like me. I, I like cats when they're not climbing all over me. Does this say Monkey Dory? Oh dear. But like, um, our friends that we went and visited last night, they have two cats. And one of the cats is very particular about deliberately rubbing up on me because he knows I'm allergic to him. I, I know. I know that's what it is. I, I think he is just that big of a jerk. <laughs> My cat hates everyone except magic and mayhem. Yeah. Yep. But for the most part, I've never really been a cat person. They're just not my vibe. When I uh, lived with my aunt, the very first day that I moved in there, um, I came home from work. You know, after everything. And the cat was on the back of the couch. You know, kind of laid out and stuff. And I very gently... What the heck kind of noise was that? Oh, it's Kevin playing the rocket game. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, but I like scratched her head like this. I think it was this hand. Yeah, it was this hand. So I just very gently scratched her head and she didn't have front claws. So she just turned around and honked right on my hand. I'm like, you. <laughs> so here's the problem. I just... I can't be in the places that cats tend to be unless either the person is a really like proactive cleaner or and or typically and uh, it's a longer haired cat because the shorter haired cats get me almost immediately. The longer haired I have a little bit better time with. That's actually what that particular cat that bit me. Uh, she was a longer haired and I didn't really react to her. But then my, when my cousin moved in, um, after I long moved out, um, she brought in a short-haired cat. And that was misery for me. I couldn't... I made the mistake of sitting on the couch near her spot. Five minutes could not breathe. Eyes all itchy, nose running... Whole nine yards. I was like, you're gotta be kidding me. Can we still not use Rock Smash? Why am I playing poker? I I don't know why you're doing anything. I put my phone down so I could go get some clothes and I come back and there's poker on my phone. I wondered. Why does Delmice have Hadron Engine? No I'll have them watch their stream, watch your stream, so they get used to you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet, Mark. Oh goodness. Okay, so anyway, on that note, I'm gonna go for a little bit. I might pop back in after. Have fun. <laughs> Let's drain kiss. Air slash. That's okay. That's not gonna do that much damage. Oh, excuse me. No, that that cat that bit me, it knew me. It had let me pet it before. She just, I guess, was not happy that I was invading her space or something. I don't know. From then on, at any and all opportunities to literally make me step in her poop, she did. My aunt had one of those really nice, thick mats like you put in your kitchen so, you know, so your uh, feet don't get so tired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She pooped on it at every given opportunity. Like, I literally was like, 
I looked in there. There was no poop. I looked and cleaned out her litter box. And in the time it took me to clean out her litter box, she'd gone in there and pooped on that mat. And then I stepped in it because I didn't know it was there. I ruined multiple pairs of socks. Also, why is Flame on learning Hydro Pump? Interesting choice. I like your move set actually. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, it was both horrible and gross. <laughs> Lots of not nice things were said <laughs> after that one. I was so angry. Cuz I had I know I ruined a brand new pair of R2D2 socks. No. I know. It was a brand new pair. I'd never worn them. So I literally got to wear them once and they were just utterly ruined. I was very, very upset with that one. <laughs> okay, gulp and having gooey actually makes sense. I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, we'll go Tommy. So yeah, they when I tell you people that I have baggage when it comes to cats, I do. <laughs> I have actual baggage when it comes to cats. <laughs> and then I have cat like experiences with cats like my uncle's cat up in New York. Thing loved me. It just wanted to be my friend. And it was so sweet and adorable, and it was great. Like, why can't all cats be like that instead of, you know, the thing from hell? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and heal up real fast before we get to... Be gone in two days. Okay, you are still in a Lola mer- Are you supposed to be shiny? Why does he get an Omni Boost too? Master B Rad, welcome on in. I have baggage with humans, but can't seem to avoid them. Amen to that one. Um, I guess we're gonna dark hole you. Intentional shiny you can't catch. Yeah, I kind of wondered. That's just cruel. That is cruel and unusual punishment. I approve. <laughs> Okay, it did put it to sleep. Good, good, good. Oh, yes. Well, come on in, everybody. Uh, I know we haven't done this in a while. Uh, mostly because I haven't, like, streamed in, like, a week. Sorry about that. I was mostly doing that so hubs could, you know, actually get some streams in. Because I like doing that for him. Uh, you've got water moves. But, I also needed to get some stuff done. Finally got it done. With that being said, um... <clears throat> I thought I had a... No, that one's already been used. Okay, we'll do this one then. If we hit 10 likes on the stream, we will open up the Silver Tempest pack. Bam. You guys know how much I love that stuff. Ooh, high horsepower will work very nicely. Very, very nice. Oh, come on. I didn't kill? What the heck? Oh, goodness. And jet punch. There we go. There goes the shiny Marowak that I can't catch. Ooh. Wait. Metal burst. Nah. I like your moveset. Your moveset's pretty pretty solid. We gained a thick club. I'm gonna go ahead and use up our Poke Vial. We have three left, so I think we'll be fine. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Why do you have a Keldeo? Oh, dear. They have a Keldeo? Oh, no. Yeah, a random Rocket Grunt has a freaking Keldeo. <laughs> rocket Grunt really said, and I take, I took that first. <laughs> yeah. Okay, friend. Let me pretend I finally get a good night's rest and call it a day here. Have a good one. Seriously, Mark. Have a nice night. Hope you sleep well. Uh, I myself have had to start medicating with uh, melatonin, so I feel your pain. <laughs> uh, but yes, please try to get some rest as best you can. I know sometimes it's hard, but as best you can. I don't know what you're going out into. Because it's going to make me pick first. Let's go, Jacob, because Jacob has the lowest level at the moment. Oh. Hello, mouse hold. Which is actually perfect because I have flying press. Okay, it didn't quite kill- Oh no. I'm so glad that that thing moved after me. I- Ay 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 ay. Why does Mousehold have Destiny Bond? <laughs> oh, I got the read on that. That's quad resisted. It also has Pyro Ball. Okay, uh, Aerial Ace. No! Oh, crap. <laughs> well, oh, no. good thing it's not a Nuzlocke, right, guys? <laughs> 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 it's, it's a randomized run, is it? Yeah, it's just a randomized run. Bear. We're going Rabbit Dude this time. Rabbit Dude came in clutch. In the uh, other fight, or in the Giovanni fight, hmm. he also came in clutch just there. Heck yeah! Okay, how many grunts is it? I think it's three. No, yeah, it's three in total. So even if we did one, you know, before each one or after each one, we'll have just the right amount. Oh, poop! You have a Jolteon. I'm starting with the Bryon. Okay, we need to swap. Let's go with Incognito. And of course you have Tailwind, which is going to make you even speedier. Because Jolteon needed help. Yeah. Why do you have Water Spout? Oh dear. That might actually do some damage. Oh, actually, not that much. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> but that one shot him. <laughs> like, I always knew that Jolteon was a bit of a glass cannon. I just didn't think it was quite that big of a glass cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jolteon is rather frail. Very frail. <clears throat> uh, Gonna go feed some munchkins. Goodbye. Have a good night, Death Star. Uh, we're gonna hyper drill this time. Oh, you're a fire type now. Oh, dear. Because why does Cryogonal have protein? Alright, let's heal up one more go. One more tank smack. <laughs> if you guys know that reference, I will be impressed with you. Also, Glalie's sprite, pretty awesome, actually. Goodbye, Glalie. That is some pretty hefty recoil, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna flip turn. Oof. Okay, that didn't do that much, unfortunately. Um, 
What moves do you have again, rabbit dude? Oh, you have natural cure. That's nice. Oh, you do ha Oh, yeah, that's right. You have Petal Blizzard. I don't know for uh, why, uh, but they changed it from uh, Petal Blizzard to Petal Storm uh, on, like, when you're going to select it. But then it still says Petal Blizzard. So, I don't know. They didn't ask me. Now, did they? They did not. Palisand. You know what? Water spout. Just cuz. Just cuz we can. Why not? That actually didn't do anywhere near enough damage. Psy shield bash. That could be a fun move. Defense up. Joy. Which means Petal Blizzard's not going to do nearly as much as it should have. Oh! But it killed it anyway, so it's fine. Everything's all fine! Hunky-dory and all that, you know? <laughs> oh, little Jabo! Yeah, Petal Blizzard, please. That's the done, yeah. Okay, we're gonna use our last one just to be safe. Okay. Oh, I see Morty. I am not going to talk to Morty because he had a Mega Gengar just chilling in the seat next to him. Oh dear god. He really does. Yes, he really does. And it is terrifying. <laughs> that is like, so of some of the, the changes that they have, you know, made and everything, have... That one might be the most terrifying <laughs> of them all. Monkey Dory? Oh, instead of hunky dory? Is that what I said? I don't even know. <gasps> oh, goodness. We are going to talk to you. Oh. TM27. Okay. You, you just pulling on the uh, hard strings there, kiddo. Oh. We have learned our lesson. Oh, we should probably save. That would be smart. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wait. Oh, you're not dragon yet. You're pure water still. Well, darn. Eh, we're just gonna drain kiss then. It'll still do damage. Mm hmm. It's still one shot. <laughs> I, I guess we are, you know, 16 levels above. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, Charcadet. Love this little dude. Prob probably one of my favorites from Gen 9. Love Charcadet. Respectable. There, there are a few that I really liked. I liked the Pommy line a lot. I obviously really liked Iron Valiant. I like some of the uh, the Paradox Pokemon. I just have my problems with them too. Cause like, yeah. especially the Iron ones. Why are they all Iron something? Like, I get it's a theme, but be more creative than that. Be more creative than that. Come on, that just to me is lazy. Yeah. So, like, I'm trying to think who all else I really liked from Gen 9. Thinking specifically just the base game at the moment. Um, I'm trying to remember. It's been so long since I actually, like, really, really played that game. 
I really liked Skeledurge. Like, yeah, it was not my usual, like, cutesy kind of Pokemon that I really like. But I really enjoyed the progression of it. I thought... I, I hated it at first, just because I thought he looked like a clown. But, you know, when you stop and you think about, oh, it's actually supposed to be more like uh, Dia de los Muertos kind of deal. Cyclozar is a good one. Um, I don't really care for Koraiden and Mimuraiden. I really don't. I would have liked it more, I think, if Cyclozar had evolved into them. Like, under no normal circumstances, I don't like the legendaries evolving, like how they did with Cosmog and all that. But they set that up and then did nothing with it, you know? So I just, I felt a little disappointed. Stop uh, walking. What'd you say? What did they sell? One more time for me? What did they set up? There's a sandstorm. No, you said they were setting something up with legendaries. Oh, no, I I said they, they had it where it looked like it was a setup for Cyclozar to evolve into Kryden and Maraiden, and then they just didn't do it. No, the thing was, uh, Kryden and Maraiden are paradox forms of Cyclozar. Oh, is that actually the, the lore of it? Yeah. Yeah, you look at them and they're both paradox forms of Cyclozar. Huh. Interesting. I guess that makes more sense. Oh crap, you have your own gouging fire. Does fire resist fairy? I believe so. Because you would think, you know, a it's fire... One way or the other. It's either fire resists fairy or fairy resists fire. I can't remember which one it is. It must be fire resists fairy because I'm fighting and gouging fire, which is fire dragon. And I'm using Bryon, which is a water and fairy type, and neither of its stab moves are super effective. I get the water. I'm surprised by the drain kiss not being stab. Or not being super effective. I like Gimme Ghoul. That was another Gen 9 Pokemon I actually really liked. Gimme Ghoul's kill. Cool. Okay. We have a thing. It thinks it's a Corsola. Specifically, Galarian. Uh, we're gonna go hang out with Brendan. Oh, shoot. I don't have my usual up front. Oh, poop. Uh, I guess we can- let's do Rabbit Dude, Flame On, and then we'll end with Jacob. I don't have two of my usuals. Oh, goodness. Because I almost always would take Klepto into these. It's a Backscalibur! Ooh. Okay, this is actually exciting. <laughs> I would love a Excalibur. You guys know me. I love my dragons. I do love my dragons. And it has pressure. Oh, it's because it's the thing. Never mind. I'm being dumb. Uh, dragon energy. For sure. And we'll see if we take damage. Oh, that did half! <laughs> Okay, it goes max knuckle on me. Okay, so we'll no longer use that, but we can use uh, max wormwood or whatever, however you say it. Is it wormwood? Wormwind. Close enough. <laughs> I'm 
I'm trying to think there's some more of the Gen 9 mons that I actually liked. I liked the Smoliv line. I thought they were adorable. <laughs> Gen, I'm thinking of my team for Gen 9. Uh, Paladin Wooper. Loved it. Yeah. Adored it. I had a Baxcalibur on my team. I love it, but it's shiny is so disappointing. Yeah. Like, at this point, they need to be, you know, very deliberate with their shinies. And make them, like, look really cool. You know? Because there's no, oh, we just threw it in a blender and the blender came up with this. That they had for, like, the Gen 1 starters. We caught the Baxcalibur! I'm gonna... Hooray. I'm going to name it after King Arthur. His name's going to be Artie. Mm, let's do IE. Yeah, Artie. I love it. Found Stardust. Ooh, some dive balls. Star piece. Yachi berries. Wish piece. Okay. I'm trying to think. What were some of the other Gen 9 Pokemon that I actually liked? Uh, yeah. I also have my team. <laughs> I know. That's the problem though. I can't remember what my team was. Add uh, the Dunsparce. Best Pokemon. And there will be I will hear I will hear no arguments on that subject. I'm not going <laughs> to argue with you. I always I just adored it mostly just because it was my mas one of my mascots gang in evolution and I. I don't think I realized that you I loved Dunsparce like that. that much, you know? It was mostly because way back when we did a run-through of Pokemon Soul Silver, where I was doing a sort of catch-em-all thing. Ah. Where I have to catch every available Pokemon before each gym and then level it up to, like, the max level of the gym. Oh, wow. And obviously Dunsparce is available in the Dark Cave before the first gym. And we were in there for an hour before it showed up. Oh, goodness. And in that hour, it I ran. think we went through the five stages of grief, <laughs> and then eventually it just became this, just the mascot of the of the playthrough, and then subsequently the mascot of one of the mascots of my channel, mm -hmm. to the point where it's got now got its own emo and stuff as well. That's awesome. Like if I go, I know you have battle sparse. Yeah, battle sparse. Mm -hmm. In your in your, in your mod chat. Yep. <laughs> I got that done a while back, and it just became. It's either Battle Sparse or it's Old Sod, because that's what we named it in the, in the playthrough. And <laughs> we used it in every single gym battle. Even and then, I think we even brought it into the Elite War, if I remember correctly. That's awesome. <laughs> but it, it just became the joke of how, how much chaos can this one Pokemon cause. <laughs> and it just became a bit of a staple on my channel, which was always fun. See, I just... I still think they should have Paddle Sparks. <gasps> that they should have Oh Grookey! Why are you level 45? Holy crap. <laughs> um I still think that they should have uh made Drampa uh Dunsparce's evolution. That way you could get that dragon normal type and make Dunsparce freaking awesome. That was my personal opinion. I don't I don't hate the Dunsparce. I just feel like it was a waste when they could have done something like um, Drampa instead. That was, you know, a really cool design, had that same type of color scheme and everything. Plus the typing would have been really cool. Um, can I name this thing Battle Monkey? Do I have enough? Battle Monkey. I don't know if I have enough space. Uh, we're just gonna name it M Key. Battle Monkey. Woo! Wow. I think I'd better get Erica and Sabrina's badges before proceeding.
I guess that's one way of handling that. Oh, I forgot we skipped a lot of these guys. Why do you have a dragapult? Oh dear. It'll be fine. We're way above them in levels. Didn't I beat Erica already? And also, I can just fly back. Duh. Pay attention. Yeah, fighting is weak to fairy. Fire resists fairy. Okay. Yep. <sighs> oh, okay. Let's go. No, not the TM case. I want... Pokey Raider. We're gonna go... Saffron! Saffron City! Okay. Let's get everybody healed on up. Healing on up. Actually, I'm curious now. Because we've caught a couple of things. Let's check you out. Death Star, the Mimikyu. Feline Prowess. Double special attack stat. Except that you're a physical attacker. God. <laughs> Actually. No, that makes it a special attacker. Right? Because it's base 66. Which means it would jump to, what, 132? Someone correct me on that. You have Techno Blast. Oh, that's a Genesex move. Okay, Weather Ball, Ice Ball, Pain Split. You don't have a single stab move. Oh, of course you don't. Artie, named after King Arthur, has pressure. So it actually has that. Okay. Sky Uppercut, Focus Blast, Blast Shadow Force, Captivate. Interesting. Oh, wait, hold up. Um, okay, uh, Mr. Battle Monkey, you have Wonder Skin, which up status move evasion. You have Flare Blitz, Flower Guard, Octolock, and Wild Bolt Storm. <laughs> so let's take a look. Flare Blitz is 120. Defense stat of all grass type Pokemon is raised by a strange power. Interesting. User traps the foe and makes its defense and special defense fall each turn. Very interesting. Um, I need to put Battle Monkey on the team for a minute because I want to see if he's going to keep that ability. Or actually, he won't. I want to see what his new ability will be. So we need to come to the bag. Come to the bag. We're going to do that. We're going to evolve Battle Monkey. We're going to see what Thwacky has for us. And then we will check out uh, what Rillaboom has. Because I don't mind uh, using Grookey if, or using uh, this Pokemon if it's actually going to be good for us, you know? No. Okay. So let's go back because I want to see what would he have had as a Thwacky. He has Mold Breaker. Okay, that's not that great. Now, let's check out Battle Monkey! Brazzarilla Boom! Let's see what you got for me. Alright, Rillaboom. Magnet Bomb. That is nice. I'll think on it, because we, we can redo uh, moves and stuff later. Okay, let's take a look. Are you worth trying to put you on the team? Oh! What? It's 
got parental bond. Oh my. <laughs> That's... So not only is he hitting us with that nice kick, he's hitting us with a double kick. So so we we not have one bass drum, we have two bass drums. Oh my. Okay. Now I need to see what moves you can learn. Okay, magnet bomb, work up magnet bomb. Mat block. Protects itself and its allies from damaging moves. Interesting. Abstract Draco Hammer. Okay, that makes so much sense, actually. <laughs> Upper hand. Camouflage Fairy Lock. Pen Missile Zippy Zap. Okay. Horn Leech. Ooh. Horn Leech. That could be actually pretty nice. Meteor Rush. Heart Stamp. Icy Wind. Ion Deluge. Interesting. Changing normal to electric day. Okay, definitely don't want that. Okay, we're gonna stop tr trying to teach you, but okay, Battle Monkey might be making his way onto the team. You currently have Flare Blitz, which is 120, but it hurts the user, so it's got recoil. We do have Wild Bolt Storm, which is a is a special move. Are you physical? Yes, you are definitely a physical attacker. So we have... We need to get rid of Octolock. Or, or do we? The user traps the foe and makes his defense and special defense fall each turn. Actually, that could be really good. I'm thinking get rid of Flower Guard and give it the uh, grass move that we had for it. So let, let's do that. That way, you know, we have stab. <laughs> the Draco hammer, though. That's cool. Nice. I I'm I'm gonna go with Horn Leech just because he needs a stab move. And honestly, I might swap Flare Blitz for uh what you call it? Uh the Draco hammer. But do we really need another dragon move on this team? Or could we use the fire type move more? I think we could use the fire type move more. So with that being said, we need to check out our team. Okay. So, yeah, we don't... <sighs> Technically, Tommy is the redundant one now, other than Poison Fang. And I hate that. Actually, no. No, because Rabbit Dude has Brick Break. Ooh, I'm pulling a cramp in the side of my neck. That really hurt. Plus, yeah, I think... I think I'm going to leave Zeb Strika off the team for now. Because he's got two Psychic moves. He does have Leaf Blade, but we already have an, a Grass-type move on Rillaboom. So it would be actually Stab. And Flying Press, which, I mean, is a good move, but doubled that up already. So I think I'm going to keep Rillaboom. Parental Bond Rillaboom. You know what would have been better? Is if they somehow could have altered the sprite to have a little Grookey sitting up, like, on his shoulder. That would have been adorable. That would have been cool. That would have been freaking adorable. All right. So we do... Do we do this before Sabrina? Or after? Before. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Time to do the Sylphco. Everyone's most hated puzzle. Okay. Am I the only one who doesn't, like, actually hate this puzzle? Like, it's annoying, don't get me wrong. Why do you have a Kelneo? Oh dear. We're already starting off to a great, great start. Uh, 
but I don't I don't dislike this one. I think I like it less than the other one. Just because Yeah. The, but the other one is simpler. Like that's its whole gimmick. This one took me a long time to figure out. But now that I know it, I'm like, I like this one, you know. Good job, Brian. Firo! I don't think I have anything. Ah, uh, your head smash. I might have killed myself with head smash. <laughs> 51. Let's see. And zero. Yep. All right. Just for that, we are sending out a uh, battle monkey. Oh, you have Buzzwool. Oh, dear. You have Flare Blitz. It's bug and fighting. I'm going into Flame On. Because I don't, I don't like this. Now, remind me, it destiny bonded this turn. Am I still destiny bonded next turn? Destiny bond lasts one round, I believe. And then I'm just gonna, like, defend order. Okay, healing wish. So it died. Okay, so for those curious, you can't do, you know, Destiny Bond Healing Wish and expect it to work. It doesn't work that way. Uh, we're gonna Aerial Ace. Okay, I thought it might kill, but oh well. Oh, why do you have high horsepower? That's rough. Actually, that didn't do very much at all. Cool. I'll take it then. And Roselia's got Intimidate. Why? I don't know. Also has Magma Storm, apparently. <laughs> it also apparently has Sparkling Aria. Well, there we go. Did he just say I goofed? <laughs> uh, you guys know me. I love, I love that. Oh, I do have a Jenna sect. That is Bug Steel Quad Week to Fire, and that's it. <laughs> We're gonna go into Flame On. <sighs> oh, excuse me, why do you have Volt Tackle? Wait, did that say normal instead of steel, or am I misreading that? Well, we're about to find out. Okay, I misread it. Cool. Baneful Bunker? Tank a ton. Stop using synthesis. Photosynthesis.
<sighs> Come on, Mystical Fire, you better kill, please. Oh dear. I think that might be my last one. Battle monkey! I guess this can unplug now. It's on 70 already. Flare Blitz! Yeah, might as well just do another three, apparently. Finally got rid of that thing. Dang! Is it always Rosalia? I don't want you on my screen. Uh, let's go, Tommy. You have Zap Cannon. Oh dear. Bluster Purge. Oh, you withdrew. Please tell me not into a dark tape. Agron. Close. Yeah, that'll work. Good thing I didn't, you know, try to poison you. That would have been bad. Lester Purge did not do anything, though. We are going to send out Brian. Because I is scared. <laughs> okay, flip turn. Did nothing. Uh, let's go into Battle Monkey. Because he's got a stinking Tinkton. Again. It's hard using Synthesis. Barely had any health down. So, just die, please. I beg. Oh, darn it. Yep, because there goes another Synthesis. Just die for me, please. Hi, Agron. I guess rock resists fire. But we got a burn off, which is probably the more important aspect of this. Special D down, that's fine. A horn leech should do a nice chunk of damage. Damage. He's gone. Goodbye. And Roselia's back. Getting another Intimidate off. Gross. Okay, I want to try this. Let's do Octolock. Okay, you can no longer escape. It's going to use Sparkling Aria, which we resist anyway. And we're gonna use Flare Blitz. It does not survive. <laughs> that is the one downside to Flare Blitz, is it does have that pretty solid recoil. Why are you learning Liquidation? I like your moveset.
You're causing us problems? Dude, I think you need to look in the mirror. Look in <laughs> the freaking mirror, dude. Hmm. Uh, rabbit dude. Because I forgot that battle monkey is waiting for sweating. Noble roar, huh? Brick, brick. Goodbye. Ooh, Espeon. With Mold Breaker. Use Dragon Energy. Because that's based on the amount of HP we have, plus a stab. You stop with that now. Let's go in a flame on. Use tickle. Tagging defense down. Eh, mystical fire. Let's go back in a rabbit, dude. Okay, it was enough. Good. Whew, I was a little afraid that that would not be enough. Okay, Glalie. Pure... Pure ice. Head smash. There you go. And the recoil did a ton. I need to find some items that prevent recoil damage or something. That would be pretty nice, actually. Rock and fairy flip turn. I know Flip Turn's not that strong, but still. Uh, let's go Incognito, because he at least has another stab move. Or not stab move, a uh, super effective move. Actually, I think he has two, because uh, Ground also is super effective on Rock. And can we all agree that we thought Carbink evolved into Diancy? It really should have. It really should have. No, you don't need to learn Horn Leech. It's a decent move, but you don't need to learn it. I like your moveset. Hi, Bayleaf. We're gonna Hyper Drill. Incognito versus a Grass and Ghost type would be pretty awful. <laughs> Okay, so let's... I think it's this one. No, okay. So I have already messed up somewhere. Yay. Fight you so we don't have to later. <laughs> you have an Ursa Ring. Oh my.
Drain kiss, please. Because this thing's scary. He's very scary. And then it uses a scary face. <laughs> oh, all the more reason why it's scary. <gasps> oh, goodness. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and... Oh, you crab hammered. You turkey. That's not going to do a lot, but it does bring up the sand spit. Which is mildly annoying. Ooh, one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, why does Solomon's have the ability Supreme Overlord? And how do I get one? I would like to know these things. Okay, Salamence is down. We're hurt by poison. Ooh, Skeledurge. My buddy. Uh, you know what? Dark Hole. We'll do Dark Hole and then we'll do Flip Turn. It's probably gonna be enough if uh, Dark Hole doesn't finish him off first. We'll find out, I guess. Never mind. We one shot him. I'll take it. Hone Edge. You're not weak to fairy. Uh, but you will take a dark hole to the face. There you go. Oh. Excuse me. That's another Pokemon that I really like. That line. I love the Hone Edge line. Why does everybody have a freaking Keldeo? Oh, stop it now. It did kill. I'm mad. Hm? I'm mad about that one. Uh, ch ch flame on, I guess. And we're gonna hit it with an aerial ace. It's almost enough. Why do you have Freezy Frost? That should still be neutral, though. Yeah. Chinchino. Uh, yeah, just go Mystical Fire, I guess. At least the special attack drop is nice. I don't know if if Chinchino is a physical or special attacker. I would imagine it's a physical attacker, right? You know, normal type and all. But I don't know, are there special normal type moves? That just seems counterintuitive. Also backwards. <laughs> and Kragonal is back. This thing has freaking protein. Please outspeed. Oh, thank goodness you do. Oof. That's not enough, though. You turn into a water type. Uh, we're gonna aerial ace, I guess. It's gonna keep using Aqua Fang, because that's probably the best thing it's got. For Flame On. K 
Okay. Oh, I forgot you fight me. Oh dear, you have a Magna Zone. Okay. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Assurance, I guess. I don't know. And you're gonna go bug Bowser, which is probably gonna kill Tommy. Oh, it didn't. Surprising. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go Rabbit Dude, I guess. I mean, I could have tried... Actually, I probably should have gone into incog Incognito and gone for the ground type move. Welcome on in, Justin. How are you doing? Brick break, please. But it would have been my luck because Magnezone would have had Levitate. You know, it's quad weakness covered. I'm a little disappointed in that. I thought that would have done more. Ow! To my ear. Okay, and then Porygon Z. Seems like everything here was weak to fighting. There we go. Still dealing with the sinus cold, but I don't think- but I think I'm at the end of it. Do or do not? That is the question. Alright, I gotta heal up. I only have two more heals left, jeez. Nat! How are you? Oh, darn it. Hi, buddy. How's it going? We are baking our way through the self cup. Doing alright, how about you? We're, we're going. I still need to put away food from earlier, and uh, do dishes that are multiple weeks old, but that's okay. No, 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 no. What do you mean, no, 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 no? I should be doing dishes yeah. that are multiple weeks old, Kevin. No, 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 not that, not that, not that. I open up your stream and put my phone down for a second. All of a sudden, I saw a timeout Nat. Kevin? Stop Ironically, that hitting been... buttons. <laughs> Ironically, that wouldn't have been the first time that's happened to Nat, and I'm already sure that it wouldn't have been the first time in your stream. Probably not. Okay, okay don't want to go there. I think it's up this way. I would put my earbuds. I would put my uh, uh, my Bluetooth earbuds in the wireless earbuds I bought, but I kind of left them at work. Yeah. Don't make me come in there. <laughs> also true, you have done that before. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that he would have. Okay. While I'm thinking also, about it, uh, I'm gonna save. John, while you're here, yeah. uh, I will update you. There may or may not be... Uh, I may or may not be grabbing the flights tonight. Do you not know about that one, Justin? Nice. I will let you know, though. Um, I'm praying no to God to... I'm praying to God the price stayed the same, though. Okay. Oh, I sure. need to run to the bathroom real fast. So, John, you're in charge. Oh. I... Wait, 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 what about oh. me? <laughs> I am thinking of a no, Pokemon from Generation 2. See if you guys can guess it by the time I get back. Alright, I'm in charge, two. I guess. Alright, Gen 2. We are talking... Halo. That's Gen 3. That's Kevin, I swear to God. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. I'm tired. I want to go while well, I am home. That just makes me feel like I need a step drink. C Dot is also Gen 3. We're, we're off to a, an amazing start. <laughs> I'm gonna say... Ludicolo. Kevin. 
You know what? I'm just gonna say Jump Sparse. Jab 2, let's go. Could be Dump Sparse. Gen 2, we're talking the likes of the Hoppet line, we've got Faro, Legendary Dogs, Lugia, Hello, Chikorita, uh, Cyndaquil, Totodile, Tyranitar line, Celebi. What else is there? Hoppet line, I think I said that already, but yeah. Them. Uh, King Trip. There is a really good one. I have no idea. She didn't tell us. She just wandered off and said, Think of a Gen 2 Pokemon. And we're just here, like. Eh. Just write off every Gen 2 Pokemon there is. I'm just here, like, uh, go fish. Espeon. There we go. I'm being on as well. That would be a good show. That makes. So, so far, we've got Dunsparce and Espeon. Kevin Trophies to Gen 3. Is it? Yes. I actually thought that was Gen 2. Okay. Why can't I remember my own comment? Okay. Now my phone's not letting me move comments. It'll still let me time out that, though. Guesses. Hang on. There was a a warning amount of people that, by which I mean Kevin, who kept saying Gen three Pokemon. I was about to say C dot is a Gen three Pokemon. Dunsparce is Gen two, but it's wrong. Espeon wrong. Tropius is Gen three. Uh, I thought it was. He also Gen didn't give us the Pokemon, so we couldn't say yes or no. <laughs> Here, um, like, Umbreon, nah, nah, nah. no. Pillow Swine, no. Kevin, don't you dare. What does that mean? Electro Dick letting it around. Thank you. Vitasaur, right? Vero Pidgey. <laughs> uh, let me see. Chikorita, Bayleaf, um, Hoot Hoot Noctowl. No, Van no. no. What's, what's the final up? Don Fan. Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium. That's it. Cyndaquil. Nope. Galava, Typhlosion. Nope, no, no, no. It is Total Swinub! Or... Good job, Nat. <laughs> it's, the no, no. it's the Brynub. It's the Brynub. Or as I like to call him, the Brylo Swine. <laughs> okay, Panseer has Drizzle. That is the worst ability for it. I'm sorry, you say Panseer has Drizzle. Yes. The fire That's... type. <laughs> Poor thing had that drizzle. That's certainly a decision. I heard the way you guys read... Uh, oh, the way that I read Pillow Swine? Or Pillow Swine? Yeah. Yeah. It is definitely... Definitely uh, the brine up. Tweet twig! Cutie. Cutie patootie. You're gonna die to flare bullets, though. Sorry. Price, look away. <laughs> I don't know if you're even in here. Some pepperoni. Also, uh, Battle Monkey has parental bond. Yay. Dude is absolutely cracked. He really, really is. Oh, yay. Bum, bum, bum. <clears throat> now I'm curious if that reset our... Uh, what you call it or not. That's a crazy ability? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. So, we're already here. Alright, I'm gonna dip out there. Alright. I got really nice for one. 
Pops. I will talk to you guys in the daytime. Have a great one. No, I'll guys. DM you if I do buy those things, John. Yeah, so absolutely. Go for it. Go. Cool. See ya. Later. Bye. I really should check those flights. I did not mean to go up there. It was supposed to be purely over. No, stop overboiling, stop overboiling, stop overboiling, stop overboiling, stop overboiling, thank you. Alright then. <laughs> I'm making some pasta and the thing started overboiling the pan, pot, whatever this is. Yeah, they do that sometimes. So, fun facts. I bought two new pots lately. I bought one little mini wok. It's about that big. <laughs> uh, for $5 at Aldi. It was great. And then I bought a new uh, pasta pot uh, from Amazon. It came in and I used it for the first time today. And it was really, really nice. Like, I was able to sear my uh, pork chop in it first and then do everything else all in the same pot. So nice. Why do you keep wanting to learn copycat, Bri? You don't need to learn how to copycat people. You are an individual. And an awesome individual at that. Oh, poop. You turned into a fire type. Uh-oh. Why do we keep seeing Keldeo and Cryogonal? It's annoying. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Uh, let's get Brian. Sounds like a great purchase. Oh, it is. It's like a five quart pot. It's supposed to be specifically for pasta, but it has the like copper inside. Oh, it's so nice. I'm like, you are the definition of non-stick. <laughs> And I love it. And of course, you know, all of that's just been sitting in the pot since lunch. <laughs> because I've not bothered to take it out of the pot. <laughs> uh, no, I will be doing that. I'll probably eat some more of it for dinner. And then uh, go from there. But yeah, no, definitely hey, uh, worth the money. What'd you say? I've been dealing with stomach issues since last night for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not stomach ache, and it's not sharp pain, and it's not, like, nauseous feeling, I guess, is the right way to put it. Okay. It's just been one of those things where it's like, I'm, it's like a soury feeling in my gut, in the back of my throat. So, wouldn't that be acid reflux? You would think that. And it definitely is part of it. But, like... It's like, it feels like it's off, but I don't feel sick. I don't feel nauseous. Oh, here it we are, folks. Really weird. So, that's why I'm just making pasta. I'm not putting sauce or anything. I'm just taking it easy, having some nice pasta. Put some butter on it. Yeah, that's the plan. Oh, poop. He's gonna start off with the Star Raptor with Intimidate. I'm gonna head smash it. I'm gonna regret that decision. Because it's U turning, which means it's going back to <sighs> its person. Lovely. But what are you going into? I'm having chicken and broccoli for dinner. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, uh, I'm coming over. I, kn I know you're up in New York, so save a plate for me. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, dark and steel. Quad weak to fighting. Uh, flip turn. Let's go rabbit dude. Rabbit season. Oh dear, it's swords dancing. Oh no. I mean, you, Nat, you tend to forget I'm... Well, depending on what part of New York, of course, you're in. Uh, it's only, New York itself is only like a three to four hour drive for me. But if you're on the upper state of New York, then that'll be longer. 
that'll be looking at like six to eight. So at that point, I'd say meet me halfway. Meet. Paimon, help. It's gonna sucker punch. What? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, no, we. That doesn't make sense. Okay, we're gonna do that later. Hmm. Everything okay? Yeah, we did our. We finalized our taxes this morning, and I just got an email wow. saying your taxes are on hold, or your filings on hold. I'm like, no, it's not. We literally completed it this morning. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Confused, confuzzled, and everything in between. Stop using your turn! You better not go into a water type, that's all I gotta say. Eh, it's somehow worse. Hi, confused. I'm Bri. <laughs> Hi, Bri. <laughs> uh, let's get Brione out here. Or Brioni, or however you say this one. Stop using U-turn! I, I, I call, uh, I call that the worst water starter of all time. And of course there's Blastoise, hello. So, fun facts, Bri, I had to run to the bathroom a minute ago, and so I did my usual name that Pokemon. Uh, oh, he has a Mega Blastoise. And guess what the Pokemon was? Stop using Shell Smash. And with that coming, I leave. Bye, Kevin. No! <gasps> Brad, come back! I don't like Poplio. I've never have. But it's or literally Dorn. named after Bry. I didn't say that the nickname was bad. I just said I don't like the Pokemon. But it's named after Bry. <laughs> no, I'm being a turd. Oh, goodness. Oh, I actually didn't realize you actually nicknamed the Bri at the Bri. Whoops. Okay, I thought you were actually talking about Brion. Or Bri, it was, whatever it, it is. It was actually uh, Swinub, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah. It was, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nat knows me too well. He could tell by the way I said uh, Pillow Swine. Maybe. <laughs> uh, another new, another new. She picked her Ash's Pokemon choice was uh, her second favorite brother. <laughs> I have lots of favorite brothers. Then I'm number one, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Thanks. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Second favorite, he says. Uh huh. Stop right. it, you're a freaking jump love. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Huh? Hold, hold on. Hold, holding it. Ah. What just happened? Aerially jump fluff? Are we serious right now? That one shot him. Die! Horrific thing. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Somebody may have to uh, do the math on that or something. I don't know. Um, 
You're probably just going to U-turn er, U turn again, so we're going to Jet Punch just to get some damage off. You did U-turn. And it's Darmanitan, which is fine. Darmanitan is weak to... Uh... Oh, shoot. Is this the rival in Sylphco? Yes, it is. Now, here's the question. Is it going to also U-turn? In which case, I should keep using Jet Punch. It does. Okay, so that was a good read on my part. Because I remembered it doing that earlier. And it one-shot my Rillaboom with, uh, what you call it? Not Body Slam. The one with Recoil. The, the, no, it's a normal type move. And it claimed it was super effective. So I think he's right. I think he was Ari like the Aerial 8 or whatever. Double Edge. Thank you. Okay. I think Jet Punch kills Darmanitan. It does. Finally. So it can no longer U-turn. Which means it's probably going to start going into like Brave Bird or something. Or Refrigerate. That could be. That could be. Uh, we're just going to Hyper Drill. Stop you. You just can't go anywhere I guess. I should have jet punched. Ooh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Incognito lives on three. <laughs> okay, hang on. We got to do a couple of things. First off, we're on self floor three. We need floor one. And then... Because the Lapras or whatever has to take a spot in your party, right? Or does... Or have they changed that? Well, we're about to find out. I was looking for the documents, but those are also outdated since it's a couple weeks old now. Oh, wow. It is... Noivern! I'm okay with this. I am a o -okay with this. What should we name our Noivern? You know what? I'm gonna name him after my buddy, Nat. Nat, you are officially a Noivern. We'll have to find out, um... You know, just how good you are. But I bet you you're going to be freaking awesome. Whoo, how did I miss that? Okay, because we need to come over here. And we're going to heal up. And then we go back to the beginning. Not really. Come back. Yoink. 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 Up and around. Food around the corner. Just a small warning from the creator himself. There's an upcoming tag battle, so I've healed your team in preparation. Well, that was very nice. So, we're dealing... Oh, Brendan! Select three Pokemon to take. Oh, crap. Um... <sighs> Are you going to be going for a little bit longer still? Yes. Stream-wise? Yes. Okay. I'm going to bounce off for a little bit. Just to finalize a couple of things before I got to head out. And I'll pop back in after. Okay. Um. I will be back soon. How do I... Hang on. Okay, there we go. We're going to go Flame On, Rabbit Dude, Incognito. The AI for this fight is horrible. Good luck. Great. Great. At least we get more of the rocket admins. That's kind of nice. Gothitel and Incineroar. So, Psychic and Dark Fire. 
Why do you have a masquerade? Masquerade! <laughs> I assume, probably incorrectly, that um, he's supposed to have masquerade. I don't like flinching. I was about to say, either one of those bug buzz is super effective. Oh, don't hit me with psychic, please. I was trying to get a defend order up, but it may not even matter. Yeah, supposed to have that? Okay. Kill that. Yes! Got the tails down. And you're going for Darkest Lariat, which is a dark type move. Neutral? Yeah. Goldango. Shiny Goldango. Who is going to Shadow Ball the Masquerade? Okay. And then I'm using Mystical Fire. Which, wow. That should have been the shiny? Yeah, it really should have been. Make it like a silvery platinum-y color? Yeah, for sure. And it's gonna... Okay, it's going against Masquerade. That's not ideal. But I'm okay with it. That's not good. Uh, okay, crap, crap, crap. That hits both of them, but it's not super effective. Okay, Mega, Mega Sceptile is okay, because I believe fire is now neutral due to the uh, dragon. So that's fine. He missed Focus Blast? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that probably would have helped. Oh, Septile! Come on, buddy. You gotta clutch out. Okay, he lands the Focus Blast this time. On Incineroar. Perfect. Nice! Way to clutch that one, Septile. Except now you die to make it rain. That's sad. Because now... <sighs> we're probably going to die in the next turn, most likely. Because I don't have anything that's... Oh, you're down to your last Pokemon, too. Oh, this freaking sucks! This is really bad. Both of these are weak to fire. I, I have to... Oh gosh, you're going mega. Because, yeah, you're on your last Pokemon. Goldengo goes for Focus Blast. I was half hoping it would be on me. I should have known better. At least Explode is an absolute freaking tank. Also, it wasn't Stab. So, Goldengo is down. Which probably means. Ooh, Explode has Flip through! Heck yeah! <laughs> Okay, and you kill me. That's okay. Okay, so we have a steel type. Steel fairy, specifically. So rabbit dude is a bad idea. Let's go incognito. What else do you got? Houndoom. I'm gonna have to risk Exploud dying here. And actually, no. High horsepower is a single hit. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the Mawile. Run numero dos. Wait, why? I still have two Pokemon. Am I missing something? Or do they each have six? Because they each have six, I might cry. <laughs> I'm tired, I was in the wrong chat. Okay. <laughs> Uh should have Primarina though. That's unfortunate. Okay, it is down to just Incognito and Rabbit Dude in the back. It might very well turn into a second run. 
No, you are not learning smog. Yep, because there goes incognito. And I have a dragon type <laughs> going against a primary. <laughs> Yikes. Or twice. <laughs> Come on, pedal blizzard. It's not enough. That might kill us. If I had had any other Pokemon at the end. I would have been fine. Yeah, the dragon messed me up. Why are you in the front? Okay, I guess you just love me more. We're almost through. It's like, we have this, and I don't remember. Do we actually fight Giovanni? I don't think we do. We're gonna go up to the third floor. Okay, I have to remember. Okay. You battled Giovanni after you beat them, so it's a boss rush. Great. Great. Because I did Flame on Incognito. I'd be best going into Battle Monkey, actually. Right? Well, let's think on this for a second. Because Flame On was good because of Prime Arena. I'm thinking that. Incognito. Let me check Monkey. It does have Horn Leech. Plus Wild Bolt Storm. Yeah. Monkey. No brainer. Okay. Now if we just play it exactly the same as we did the first time. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, we're going defend order, even though we're gonna get faked out. Fake out? Yeah, faked out. Did it have competitive last time? I'm assuming it did. Holy masquerade's almost dead. Okay. Um Yeah, I think I just defend order. At least for this turn. Cause he's gonna wipe out Yeah, Gothatel's gone. Cause that just makes too much sense. Dark Slariot's coming after me. Okay, that's okay. Goldango, we need to start uh, actually laying waste to this. Let's go Mystical Fire. Having a, even just the one defend order is so nice. That's why I've kept it so long. Ooh, since when do you have Scald? <laughs> Did you have Scald the first time and I just didn't pay attention? Probably. Probably. It's going Dark Slariot on me. Oh goodness. Uh, we definitely have to Mystical Fire. And it used Shadow Ball on me. This is not going the way that I had planned. And I am upset. But Incineroar is dead this time. So this part is okay. 
Uh, yeah, we're definitely going incognito. Or maybe I should have waited and kept incognito. Okay, there's the Primarina. I should have gone into Rillaboom. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Because you're still super effective. So go high horsepower. Goodbye, Goldango. So we don't have to worry about that one. And you have Giga Drain. Which is perfect. Because then you'll gain health back. It's going to go Dazzling Gleam. Hits both of us, apparently. Okay. Not ideal, but we can take it in stride. Oh, this is fine, because then I'm going to uh, high horsepower Hound Doom. And we should be able to take out a good chunk of health, even though it is Mega now. Because we... L Uh-oh. Now I'm the one in trouble. <laughs> now, here's a question. If I, all of my Pokemon think, do, does the battle automatically end? Or do we get to watch Brendan actually kick butt? Like, how does this work? Uh, hang on. I need to look at something real fast. I'm gonna check out your moves. You have Parental Bond, which is just amazing. It does restore. Goes until Brendan loses, I think. Okay. We're gonna try a Wild Bolt Storm. Even though it's not gonna do very much damage. Or should we... Y yeah, no. We're going straight for the Horn Leech. And I need you to have Focus Blasted that stinking Houndoom. Okay, you did? Houndoom? Yes! Thank you, Brendan. And then Heat Wave is probably going to kill both of them. <gasps> oh, Battle Monkey! Oh, my Battle Monkey. <sighs> oh, my. It's the last Pokemon each. I might as well Flare Blitz it. Yeah. I mean, I'm either going to die to their attack or I'm going to die to the recoil anyway. Let's see if I can get the uh, damage off first. Okay, he goes Dragon Breath to ensure the kill on the Houndoom. And he still has a Pokemon left. My Wild does not go down. And we take... A surprising little amount of damage, actually. Huh. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do that again. I don't think it's gonna matter because I think flamethrower kills you. It does. See, we just needed battle monkey. <laughs> That's all. We just needed to bring battle monkey. Oh, at least he heals us. Ooh, I'll take dual chop. Ironic considering that level cap increased to 57. Hang on. Let's do some of that, please. No, you're not learning substitute. I'm going to get everybody up to 56. Ooh, steel roller? Is that what that said? No. There we go. And because we are paranoid savers, we will be saving our game 
right here before we fight Giovanni. <sighs> okay, we've already beat him once. And you have a Garchomp now, for sure. The question is, do you lead with the Garchomp? No, you lead with a Poudon. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna Dark Hole it. I'm gonna put it to sleep. And then I'm gonna flip turn it. So I'm gonna do a decent chunk, I hope, of damage, plus put it to sleep with Dark Hole. Very nice. And then next turn, I am going to flip turn it. It turn one stealth rocks? Oh, brilliant. And we're gonna flip turn, which does not do a whole, whole lot. Um. Let's go incognito. That way, even if it wakes up next turn, we can hit it with a jet punch. And maybe, maybe survive. Jet punch. Oh, it did kill. And it, ah, we tried. It lived on like one. If any one of those rolled higher than it did, we would have been fine. That's a bummer. But that's all I got off was the stealth rocks, so. Chompers, already. Um, great. I'm gonna counter. It goes scale shot. I'm assuming that's physical. Defense fell, but speed rose. Counter does nothing. Interesting. Also, um, can somebody explain to me why counter doesn't acknowledge the fact that it's a fighting type move? Let's just try a hyper drew. That's an earthquake. That's not good at all. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it was going to. <sighs> I think we, we kill it with jet punch. Okay. Oh, he's got his Kangaskhan. That's his other one. So, actually, do I still have that piece of paper? I had it the other day. Yes, it's still over here. He had Nidoking, Honchkrow, Orthworm, Kangaskhan, Infernape, and Veluza. Okay. High horsepower. Yep, there's its Mega. With the Kangaskhan again with its parental bond. Hey, I got my own one of them. Of course, it goes to the fake out. Which I figured, and it goes power up punch next. Crap. Okay, no matter what, I have to jet punch next turn, uh, just to make sure that uh, Incognito's death is not in vain. Because he will die. There's just, there's no two ways about it. We just lucked out. I think that counter is based on the physical damage taken. But it won't work on ghost types? Yeah. But like, it, if I used counter on Kangaskhan, it doesn't account for... Uh, what you call it? The fact that it's a fighting type move. Being super effective, it doesn't account for it. Okay. Rabbit dude, go straight for the brick break. You go crunch. That should be fine, right? <sighs> We're not fine. I forgot you're up three on the power up punch. Oh, we're, we're, we're screwed. We are very much screwed. Oh, dear. Mystical fire, please. Never mind. And we're back at this nonsense. Can we please just outspeed? Poison Fang. This is how we won last time, I think. 
We didn't even get a poison off this time. That was a crit. That was just rude. This stupid Kangaskhan is the bane of my existence. Dark hole? Nope. It outspeeds basically everybody on my team. Like, I wouldn't even think... What... Other than a very, very buff kangaroo, what what is Kangaskhan supposed to be based off of? Uh, because I, I don't I don't get it. Horn leech, we're gonna body slam. It's gonna kill us. Hi, Price. We lost to Giovanni again for different reasons this time. Okay, so he had. A lot of things. So the Kangaskhan stays. You stayed. And you have the exact same move set. And then this time he had a Garchomp. Uh, but it started with... Um, it's based off a of parent king group. That's what I thought. Um... Hippo. Hippo. Hippowdon. So, did we only see three Pokemon? Garchomp, Hippowdon, and Kangaskhan? Okay. I think starting with Primarina is fine. Let's check out our Noiv our Noivern that didn't get his nickname. You have competitive. Okay. Except the fact that oh, you are a special attacker technically. Work up allure voice? Alluring voice? Causes confusion on targets whose stats were boosted during the turn it's used? Interesting. Draco Hammer. Very nice. Mind reader. Actually, Noivern could be really fun to have on the team. Uh, let's check out Artie again. Because you have pressure. You have Sky Uppercut. Yeah, you don't have a stab move. I need to have something else to counter... Kangaskhan. Not just... Him. So, hang on a second. I'm gonna put you away for a second. Tommy's been on our team since the very beginning. I don't think I want to take him off, actually. Because he's been coming in clutch and saving our butts. Mm, where are you? Wait, what are you trying to learn? Pounce? It's a bug-type move. Mm. Yeah, overcaptivate. That's fine. Okay, keep going. Ooh, magma storm. Uh, I don't like 75% moves. You guys know me. I like my full odds. No, you don't need to pain split. You don't need to split the pain. Um, X scissor. Is that better than pounce? Mm, lowering its speed stat. It is more of... Yeah, we're gonna get rid of pounds. I like the lowering the speed stat. Yeah, seriously. If it's not 100% accuracy, it's zero. <gasps> seed flare. What on earth? Um. Actually... Yeah, we're gonna forget that for a second. I need to look at something really fast. I'm assuming... Where are you, Artie? There you are. Summary. Shaman's move? Okay. Yeah, you are a physical attacker. I need to be giving you physical moves. So, probably actually need to get rid of Focus Blast. Okay. So, we'll get rid of Focus Blast for something. 
I don't like Focus Blast anyway. Never have. Because doesn't it force you? Since you're moved, my little hedgehog. <laughs> Okay, 56. Okay, no other moves there. So let's go in and let's check our move relearn. Head smash. Head smash wouldn't be terrible just for extra. Ooh, fire punch. Hang on. That didn't work. Fire punch could be good. Um, Stop hitting the wrong button. Oh my goodness, move relearn. So we have- ooh, we have sludge bomb. That's not physical though. I might still teach it sludge bomb. For that chance at the poison. Especially considering we're taking our poison thing. Actually, better idea. Better idea. Where's my TMs? There are my TMs. Okay, go up to the beginning. Okay. Flip turn, no. Okay. I, you can learn Iron Head. I don't like it, though. You can learn Dig. Dig wouldn't be a bad idea. Brick Break, you already know a good fighting type move. Temper Flare, actually, teaching that over Mystical Fire might not be a bad idea. Because Mystical Fire is a special move, and he's a very physical attacker, if I'm remembering correctly. Right? You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Can't learn Vino Shock. Can learn Dual Chop, but at least have a stab move. Bad Tantrum. Okay. Could do Bulldoze. Body press. So we do not have poison as a physical move that you can learn. Let me double check that you are a physical attacker because I believe you are flame on. Oh yeah, very much so. So mystical fire is only 75. Wow, your two best moves that you have. Yeah, neither. No wonder you've not done super hot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna teach him the uh, fire type move, temper flare. Because it's the same base, but it's physical, so it should do a lot more damage than mystical fire. I do miss the uh, uh, special move. The user's previous move failed, it doubles. I mi I like the special attack drop though. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Okay, so we have that. You can learn dual chop, but that's only 80. Okay. the speed. Hmm. 75. Yeah, 75 with a chance to double. Let's take a look. Artie. You will not have a stab move. Which is really freaking annoying. Actually, yeah, we're gonna stop teaching that. You need a dual chop. Is that really our only option with you? I think it is.
You know what? It's 80. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna teach him a stab move. We're gonna teach that over Focus Blast. I think, yeah, having another Pokemon with a ground type move would be a good idea. But. I don't know. Can you. No. Sadly. Okay. I think we're in a better spot now. So let's double check our team. So yeah, I think having Artie on could be helpful. Ice and Dragon. Has Sky Uppercut. Dual Chop, Shadow Force. That could be really nice. Except it doesn't work on Kangaskhan and I just realized that. Crap. <laughs> okay. But yeah, we definitely needed uh, more Pokemon with fighting type moves. For this. Do you have a fighting type move? No, you just have Octolock. Which drops defenses. Which, I mean, if we threw out... When Kangaskhan goes out, I think we go into Battle Monkey. And just get at least one Octolock off. Yeah, he might get the uh, attack boost. But then his defenses are down. Which... Wait. What's my team speed average here? Because I know it outsped Primarina, which was 97. I don't know about you. I don't remember if it's outsped you or you or you. I know it outsped him. We'll find out, I guess. Also, when can I do the uh, ability thing? Ability pill. Because I would like to use that on, uh, on Bryon, I think. Can I use it now? It won't have any effect. Bummer. We'll have to find out about that in a little bit, I guess. <sighs> okay, definitely need to start off with Primarina. That's fine. That makes sense. It works. Floor 3. Up and around. Okay, and one more time, we will save. So he starts off with Hippowdon, which means Primarina, Dark Void, Flip Tail into um, something that is super effective. <laughs> Because I don't think, depending on how much damage the other moves did, Kanga was faster than everything previously? Crap. How fast is that thing? Like, I understand it's a mega, but come on. I have a freaking slacking on my, on my team, and it's surprisingly fast. <laughs> okay. We did a slight adjustment. We're going dark hole again. We gotta get that thing to sleep. Because... I don't know if it, you know, completely decided everything, or if it was just a small, small factor. But... Kangaskhan, Kyle. Also, I thought that was a guarantee. So it doesn't even matter. Okay, flip tail. Um, we're gonna go into Battle Monkey, I think. Because he should take an earthquake? Yeah! 
Heck yeah. And then we have uh, his grass move. Uh, Horn Leech heals that damage. Okay, so we're safe. <sighs> Going straight into freaking Kangaskhan already? Uh, Octolock. We just, we gotta try it. Oh, it's gonna fake out first turn anyway. It always does. Okay, come on, Battle Monkey. Octolock. It's not power up punched yet. And it killed me. Well, so much for that, I guess. Oh, this stinks. This really stinks. Okay. What is your speed? So you you have a speed of 131. You have 119. Wait a minute. Hitting even protected foes. Okay, but that's not going to help me here. Killer attack. Yep, yeah, we're going in rabbit, dude. I'm not at full health, so we're going straight for the brick break. Power up punch, I think, is not resisted. So that's two up already. I think he lives another one. I think he lives another one. I think he lives another one. Brick Brick, come on. Oh, he went for crunch this time. I hate everything. I hate everything. Okay. Oh, that really sucks. Okay. Um. Let's go Artie. Let's see if we are uh, in the right here. Sky Uppercut, please just live. And this storm subsided. <sighs> Incognito. We just gotta get some damage off. <sighs> Here's the problem, he doesn't live. He does not live. I'm... He's already up four power-up punches, right? Or is it only two? Is he up two or is he up four? If he's up only two, we might live. It's only two? I'm gonna try it. Kangaskhan is gone. Are you freaking serious? I have priority in jet punch, though. Holy crap. Oh, that was miserable. Okay, here's Garchomp, which is not great for us. I don't have a counter for you. Captain Price the second, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing mostly fine. We're dying. <laughs> so there's that. <gasps> Why did that do 50? I don't know what that means. Wow, that did nothing. That's probably gonna do a fair bit of damage. Um, what am I playing? I am playing Radical Red. Also, Price. Hi, friend. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Dark Hole. And you're gonna kill me first. Never mind.
How did I do worse this time? Okay. Uh, it was Kangaskhan. Nope. Do not know that one. I think Tommy comes back on the team. Because Artie was useless in that fight. It's a TV show? Still never heard of it. The only other thing I could think of is maybe doing Noivern. Just because, you know, flying. Yeah, well, here's the problem. I was anticipating Dark Hole actually putting him out on to sleep, and it just didn't. So there's that. Welcome on in, Jeffrey. How goes it? Okay. Before we do anything, we will save. Because you guys know as well as I do how this tends to go. Um, the other thing I might do, I might go ahead and level up to the level cap. The level cap is 57. I might do it. Good, what's the game? We are playing Radical Red. Kangaskhan is deceptively fast. Normally so. Makes sense it would be faster as a Mega. Then Mons like slacking, which are fast, but only fast as... I assume it's normal Kangaskhan. Base Kangaskhan, yep. Yeah. Is it money? I don't know what you mean. Okay, I think... I think we got a plan. Okay. Come on, Giovanni. Get your booty on over here. Ah! Oh well. I don't think I'm gonna need it. His Hippowdon changed gen genders. Is the game money? I don't understand what you mean. Okay, let's try Dark Hole. Hope and pray that it uh, puts it to sleep. Come on, buddy. I need you to sleep. Need you to sleep. Yes! All oh, that works. It's good is, I'm assuming you are asking. Yeah. If that's what you're asking, then yes, the game is good. So we're gonna... F yeah, we're gonna go ahead and flip turn. Okay, we're gonna go... Who do we go into? No. Maybe. Actually? Not a bad idea. Hit it with a water spout right off the bat. Because it hasn't set up its thing. I need to keep Rillaboom around. I think I'm going to go into Rabbit Dude. Because he's got water spout. Yeah, I think we're gonna go into Rabbit Dude. We're gonna try it. Because he's still gonna be asleep. And because we're at full health, uh, we should... Uh... Never mind, we're not at full health anymore. Uh, Petal Storm. <laughs> or Petal Blizzard. There we go. That is the brilliance of Rabbit Dude. So next up is going to be... This is probably Garchomp, isn't it? Yeah, Garchomp's out. Dragon energy is better if I'm at full health.
Do I go back into Bryon? Bryony? And get the fairy type move? Or do I just try to take on... Well, let's... Let's see. Okay, we are a physical attacker. Which means pedal storm... Or pedal blizzard. Yeah. It'll probably outspeed. You talking about Prime Arena or are you talking about Rabbit, dude? Because it's 131. Prime Arena has a very, very low speed comparatively. It's 97. I think we'd be better off staying in. And hitting with Petal Storm. Or Petal Blizzard. Tell me what you think. Garchomp would outspeed Rabbit Dude? Well, then he outspeeds my entire team. Because Rabbit Dude, other than Tommy, I think is the f fastest Pokemon on my team. Let's try it. Okay, it definitely outspeeds. That's not good. Yeah, I should have listened. Because that's a kill on Rabbit Dude. Brick! And his speed rose, but his defense fell. So, at least we're going to get a clean switch in. Or, no. It's definitely going to outspeed. Did we just go incognito? That's what we did last time. That actually worked. We did incognito and we countered it. And it worked. But I need incognito for later. Uh, I need two of you. <laughs> Let's go, Bryony. Do I... I'm just gonna go straight for the drain kiss. Oh, it's... Oh, we better be fast. <gasps> Please do a lot of damage. Okay. It's almost half. That's not gonna do any damage to you, but it will to me. Drain Kiss, come on. Earthquake, survive, just survive, just survive. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is... Not good, not good, not good. And you're slower. Double speed if it has a status condition. I wish. Let's go Tommy. And just see if we can outspeed. Everything is resisted. Luster purge. Nope. It outspeeds Tommy. Okay, so Garchomp has a speed greater than 154. Love it. Let's see, Flame On. Because I know you're not going to live. Because, yeah. I forgot about that, to be honest with you. Nah, you're right, though. You were totally right. Yep, we're going incognito this time. If we somehow survive, maybe base speed Tommy might outspeed. Yeah, we're going to counter because it's going to do that anyway. Okay, so incognito does live. So we know that. Okay. Okay. So that's a thing. And here's the freaking king is gone. Good to know. Um. I know it's not going to matter because uh, Fake Out has like plus four priority. Yeah, it does. I was hoping... I don't know. Gross. Jet punch. We just gotta get some damage off. It's the only thing we can really hope for. Because, yeah, he's dead. And unfortunately, he's like the only Pokemon on our team that has any sort of uh, priority move. Which is stupid. Okay. Yeah, I guess go for the horn leech. 
and just try to recoup what it hits us with. So it's up one right now. You tank it, though. And I have my own parental bond. <laughs> this is going to do more damage. Okay. Plus two now. That's four. Okay, not enough to kill. We really, really need something else that has... Uh... That's it. Yep. Okay. We knew we were going to lose when I, you know, lost half my team in one turn. <sighs> okay. I still think starting with Primarina works to get rid of the, uh... Yeah, absolutely good knowledge gained. <sighs> the question is... I feel like Flame On is not useful despite having like one of our only fairy type moves <sighs> i'm gonna do something crazy we're gonna check our pc for a second here i'm going to see i'm gonna get noivern up to par and we're gonna see if he's gonna sub out inner focus no i don't believe so Oh, my Berg might. <laughs> I do have a, a ghost type. Uh, but it has crunch. Because klepto. What is that one? Double special attack set. Okay, so for right now, while we're thinking on this, I am going to get Noivern up to uh, par, level-wise. And then we're going to check out his move pool. Where are you? There you are, Noivern. You're supposed to say nah, but you didn't take it. I am going to get rid of that. We're not going to do Thunder Wave. We might do some other moves, but we're not going to do Thunder Wave. Ooh, Fire Pledge! Now you're speaking my language. Um, is Noivern a physical or a special attacker? We're going to get rid of Mind Reader. Here, let's actually check out Noivern real fast. It's special? That's what I thought. And I think it's Dragon type move is physical, which kind of sucks. Yeah, you're definitely special. Plus you have competitive, which is awesome. Camo of Zama and Klepto? They... Didn't really have a whole lot of good stuff. Alluring voice is very nice because that's another fairy type move. But yeah, Draco Hammer is sadly a physical move. Work up, I think, is a good move for it to have. I'm fine with it having work up. So let's keep doing this part and then we'll answer Kyle's question about um, move pulls at the proper level. We're not going to do growth. Yet, anyway, we might change our mind with that seed flare. It's an option. If Kangaskhan power up punches on Noivern, then it'll get confused. Wait, what do you mean? If you use Alluring Voice? Yes. No. Sucker Punch could be nice. Okay. So Noivern is up to 56. Let's check out his learn pool here. Where are you? There you are. Move relearn. Mortal Spin. Interesting. That box. Fiery Wrath. User attacks with intense dark flames and uh, may also make the opponent flinch. 
That's kind of cool. Special. We could utilize that. Keep that in the back pocket. You could pivot back and forth on the Kangaskhan to those two. Uh, but given random moves, that's will be really hard. To... Yeah, that's the problem. They don't have... Good moves. Like, the only stab move this guy knows is Draco Hammer. Which is not good for it. I think Fiery Wrath actually could be really good. Okay, before we do that, let's check our TMs. Galarian Moltres' signature move? Very nice. Okay, check out our TMs. Let's see. Noivern can learn acrobatics. Can also learn psy uh, psionic noise. Okay. Dual wing beat. It's physical. You can learn iron tail, also physical. Okay. You can learn psychic. But that's not very helpful for what we got here. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to teach it um, that particular move. So definitely going to learn that one. Uh, Fiery Wrath. We're going to do that instead of Draco Hammer. As much as I don't want it to not have a stab move, it's actually better. I like Galarian Zapdos. Uh, Mosa has Thunderous Kick, which definite. Oh, is a, a defense drop? Ooh. See, I never actually got any of them, so. I don't know. Um, just so. For kicks and giggles and all that, uh, I am going to get Puppy up. Because who was the other one, Klepto? Klepto is not going to learn a single move. Klepto will not learn a move. Oh, that's not the right button. Oh, I'm running out of rare candies, too. You are learning Wish. <gasps> TMs still work? I don't remember. I don't think so, actually. I like Wish, but not on you. And if I'm remembering correctly, he didn't have anything worth doing. So let, let's try. We're going to take Puppy off because I don't, don't think that works. I don't know. I don't know if that counts. Somebody look that up for me, please. Okay, we're gonna come over here to the TM case. Okay, you can learn Taunt. Return. Psychic. Facade. Rest. Thief. Again, physical moves. Temper Flare. Physical. Yeah, that's it. So, here, I'll just show you. This is Klepto's moveset right now. It's been the same since the very beginning of the game. Because it has Soul Heart, which would be fantastic. It said every single one of his moves is physical. physical. It has V-Create, Heart Stamp, Rock Wrecker, and Triple Axle. I think I'd be better off with Noivern. I think I'm gonna do Noivern. No. So, I looked a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. The only other move it had was Curse. Which, I don't even remember Curse being there. See, here's the problem. You, 
Klepto does not survive a single crunch from Kangaskhan. It didn't the first time. Which does work with triage. But it's still a delay turn, right? Because it's, you make the wish this turn, you die, and then it happens, or whatever. Or something happens in the meantime. Okay, yeah, I think this is the better set. I keep forgetting I can do this. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Now it's properly named. Okay. Okay. I, I'm gonna try the Neuvern route, and we'll see if that works. And if it does, or if it doesn't, we'll reevaluate. Jeez, we've been going almost three hours. But yeah, Klepto was way nerfed by the randomizer. This randomizer did not do him any favors. Which is very, very sad. Okay. Save up. Uh, and then panic. Which could be useful with slacking using counter? That could be. I'm willing to try it. If we don't get it successfully this time, I am willing to try it. For sure. Okay, Dark Hole, please put it to sleep. What's the percentage of putting it to sleep? Does anybody know? Nope, it didn't put it to sleep. Crap. Crap, 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 crap! I don't know of a way to get rid of the uh, stealth rocks. I have to flip turn just because I don't trust that thing. Uh, do I go into that and try to hit it? I don't really have much to hit it with. Yeah, let's just go into Battle Monkey. Ow! Okay. Horn Leech. That should probably get us back up to full, maybe? Or close? Maybe half of it? Yeah. Okay. Which, not ideal. Better than what it could have been. Okay. Come on. Going straight into Kangaskhan. Okay, it's going to fake out. Do I go ahead and swap into Incognito? That could be... Actually, I'd say yes. Okay. We're gonna try it. Because it's going to do uh, fake out. And then it's gonna start using power up punch. And if we just use... Uh, gross. If we just use a uh, counter, we'll just deal it right back to him. Oh, it went straight for body slam instead. Interesting. I don't think we live. 
another one. I think we have to go for Jet Punch. Just to make sure we get damage off. Let's see, do we live? Oh, we parried. Okay, so we did live, so I could have tried something else. Okay. We're gonna jet punch. Oh. Okay, so no power-up punches yet. Which is good. I'm gonna go with Rabbit Dude, I think. Right? Or do we go... Tommy? No, we need Tommy, potentially, for... Uh, Garchomp. We also have Nat for Garchomp. Potentially. Uh, frick, 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 frick. I could... You're not gonna outspeed. King is gone. Um, Rabbit Dude, what is your speed stat? I know you're pretty, you're pretty fast. You might outspeed him? No, you don't. Because Incognito didn't outspeed. So the only chance I have of outspeeding is Tommy. Uh, in which case, Poison Fang, just try to poison it to death. That could work. He's not got any power-up punches up. So it's just straight stats at the moment. I'm gonna go Tommy. And we're gonna Poison Fang. We outspeed! Okay, no, this is okay. That's resisted anyway. This is okay. Okay, so from now on, if uh, Noivern attacks using a luring voice, Kangaskhan will become confused. Uh, we're gonna try it again. Still no? Okay, it's up to. Yeah, crunch kills. Okay. That's fine. Let's go into Nat. Right? Use a luring voice? Or do I wait and do Rabbit Dude instead? Noivert, what is your speed? 160, yes you do. You can change their natures? How do I do that, Bry? So yes, we outspeed, so let's do a luring voice. It didn't make him confused. Oh, because it didn't gain it that turn. Well, Pokemon Center, second Nurse Joy. Okay, what should I be making them then? Because <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I know you survive. You'll survive. Uh, Horn Leech. Never mind. Pokemon knowledge comes in handy. Yeah. I'm just losing all my money. <laughs> I'm just fine. I'm not, I don't care that much. Okay. Bum bum bum. Okay, before, let's figure out what everybody needs. So, you are... Is it up in speed, down in attack? Give me a second. Yeah, because you're up in speed, down in attack. In which case, Prime Arena has... Unless we'd want to up its defenses. Jeez, you have the same defense stat. Okay. Your special attack is garbage, actually, Tommy. You're just speedy. That's your whole thing. Modest is Primarina's best. Yeah, you're timid. What does Modest do?
Adamant is slacking. Hang on. Adamant or Jolly? Because right now he's lax. Which is down in special D. Paxor says mild. And Rillaboom is sassy at the moment. Noivern has quirky, which is neutral. I'd be fine leaving Nat alone. Unless we think of something else that would benefit him. Maybe one of his defenses or something. Drop his attack. Keep his special attack up. Hax versus Jolly. Okay. I think Norvern's fine. That's what I thought. Because you're mild at the moment. I don't know what that means. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, because you're up in special attack right now and that just doesn't work. Right? I honestly think Tommy is fine with a timid nature. Can make Noivern slower to make use of a luring voice? We could. In which case we need something down in, spe in speed. But up in one of the D in physical D probably. So up in physical T down in speed. What would that be? Timid is Meowstic's best nature? That's what I thought. So we have that going for us. So Meowstic is fine. Down speed and up either physical defense or special attack? Yeah. I could also try it for the flinches with Fiery Wrath. That could be good. That could be very good. Hmm. Okay. Let me see how this works. Uh, nature change. Gonna take Bry. Oh! Perfect! They're listed out! You want modest. Yep. Nature change. Tommy's fine. Incognito. We're gonna go adamant. Uh, Haxorus. We're gonna go jolly. Because it's up in speed, down in special attack. Because all of his moves are physical, right? That's what we... Determined? Let's double check that. Physical. Technically dragon energy and water spout, but that's okay. They're not going to be useful in this fight very much at all, if at all. Okay. So, what about Battle Monkey? He's sassy nature at the moment, which looks like down in speed up in special D. Which is gross. So let's check out Noivern. Let's see, we need up in speed. Hasty? Down in physical D? Or, sorry, no, it's down in speed. So we need to flip it. Down in speed. Down in speed. Uh, so up in D, down in speed. Relaxed? He would also be adamant. Oh, for Rillaboom. Gotcha. So we're thinking relaxed for Noivern? Is 
It's either that or impish. I'm thinking relaxed. Or not impish, I'm sorry. Up in special attack. Which would be quiet. Either quiet or relaxed. I'm gonna go... Let's try relaxed. Let's see. 144. Which is less than Meowstic, but more than Incognito. Okay, Rabbit Dude's uh, speed bumped up to 144. So you need to have Adamant Nature instead of Sassy. So come here, Battle Monkey. You're going adamant, right? Attack, special, yep. Makes sense to me. It might outspeed still. I am most certainly willing to try. Let's try it. I really wish we had the use of our ability pills. That would be very, very nice to have. Because, like, Primarina's ability sucks. Incognito's ability sucks. Like, that one is fine. That's fine. That's honestly fine. I don't care. That's amazing. And that's actually really good for it, too. The problem is, there's nothing in this that's lowering stats. Really. Not in his team. Okay. We're gonna give this one last attempt. We'll see how we fare. Okay. Saffron City? Isn't that where I am right now? I'm in Saffron, right? Go to the house near the Pokemon. You talking this one? Oh! Subtract EVs. Switch the Pokeball. Oh. Dream Patch. Ooh. Interesting. So I can buy them. Does that mean I can utilize it now? Because he's subtract EVs. Switch the Pokeball. Here's the Cell guy. He's a uh, hidden power guy. An IV of zero. And then none of those people did anything. Right? Yeah. I got trapped on the couch, apparently. They got rid of him? No! <laughs> Crap. So, when can I use this, or can I just not? I 
I got two ability pills and they're completely useless. <sighs> Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a dream patch. Let's see if it works. Did I have one already? I did, so I have two now. We're gonna do Bry. Flare boost, really? And Incognito doesn't have one. What a rabbit dude. Purifying salt? What does that even do? Let's see what's Tommy's. I don't... It makes sense for Incognito to not have it because normally slacking only has one ability, period, in a discussion. And that's true, Aunt. Does that make sense? But what on earth are these other things? Is drought? Okay. And you have flare boost. I assume that's boosting fire type moves, right? Rabbit dude has purifying salt. What on earth is that? Grants Pokemon immunity from all status condition. Has the attack and special attack of an attacking Pokemon during damage calculation if targeted by a ghost type attack. Garganacle's ability. Interesting. Well, it's a bummer because he's using dark type moves and fighting type and normal type moves. So it's not that helpful. So should I change it to the Ori thing? Because right now Tommy just has the ability to punch through protect, basically. And I'm assuming flare boost. You know what you get when you assume. Flare boost. Powers up special attacks when burned. That's actually not bad. Yeah, I don't have my fire types on my team right now, so that's kind of a waste. Okay. Well, it's good to know that the dream patch works, at least. Okay. Here's the dealio. We're gonna try it one last time. And we'll go from there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Time to fight Giovanni again. <sighs> okay. Starting with Dark Hole. Please put it to sleep. That's all I ask. Please be put to sleep. Nope. That's okay. It looks like it did a lot more damage this time. Which is fine. I'm down for that. Okay. Flip turn. Uh... 
Let me see. Do you have anything that would be super effective on it? Oh, you have Fire Pledge! Yeah, let's do Battle Monkey. Going for the Horn Leech. That earthquake hurts. You also have Flare Blitz, I forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, let's see who he goes into. Oh, we went into Garchomp this time. That's different. I didn't realize I could do that. Um... Do I try to stay in and hit it with a horn leech? I'm gonna... Oh, yeah, scale shot. That's right. Crap. So it's a good thing I didn't, you know, immediately go into Noivern. Okay, the defense down. Speed rising. Horn leech. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. This might get us back up to full, actually. Next turn. Depending on how much scale shot does this time. Please only be two. Okay, hit three. Does it always hit three? Okay. So we're not going to get all the way down. Or all the way back up, unfortunately. That was a crit, though. Would have been nice the first time. Okay, Kangaskhan. It's going to spend the first turn doing Fake Out. So we are going to go into Incognito. Just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to be down a little bit. It's fine. Plus we have Snow Warning, which gets rid of that damage. So that's good. Just set up by our own Pokemon, unfortunately. The turn one body slam is just rude, man. Okay. Huh? Okay. Woohoo! Okay, we live the power up punch. So, it's up two now. So, we're gonna counter, which does not do a whole lot, unfortunately. Um, and then we're gonna jet punch because there's no way we live another one. Did I what? No, I did not. Okay. So we're up two right now. Tommy will. will outspeed? So, I could do that. Try that route. Or I could hold on to Tommy. In which case, let's go into... Nat. And let's try doing... Either of these. Alluring Voice or Fiery Wrath. Uh... Let's let's do a luring voice and see if we outspeed. Nope, it outspeeds us. <gasps> we died. Crap. Uh this is my last attempt for tonight. Crap, 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 crap. 
So Nat no longer outspeeds. Crap. Okay. What was your speed stat? 144? Which means... The rabbit dude won't outspeed either. Unless it's a speed tie. What's your speed, monkey? 19. Okay. Uh, let's go Tommy. We're gonna try Tommy. Gonna see if we can get that poison off. Go poison fang. <gasps> we get the poison! Oh, yes! He's not gonna survive. Yeah, there was no way Tommy was letting that. <sighs> That's huge. Okay. Um, Nobody else has priority. Okay. Yeah, we can just, just just try for a brick break and see if we might outspeed. Nope. Okay, we live a crunch, right? Nope. Never mind. Parental bond. Okay. Let's go, Brian. Brian? Uh, we're gonna try a dark hole. Yep, we don't- we're not gonna live this. In which case, we're done. Because we only have Rillaboom left, and there's no way he still has four Mons. Yeah, so, Noivern, I think, if I'm gonna utilize it the way I'm trying to utilize it, I think I need to use the other one and hope for a, uh, what you call it? Flinch. That's it. Yep, we're gonna call it there today. Cause, yeah. Noivern living a crunch is good knowledge. Did it? I wasn't even paying that close attention. I guess. Oh goodness. But yeah, I think for tonight we're gonna we're gonna call it. We tried really stinking hard. <laughs> we're just gonna have to not today. On that note, however, um let's find somebody to raid. Because that's fun. Good tries, though. Absolutely. I think we have pieces. We just need to get the right ones in the right order. With the right moves. Because, <laughs> like, Noivern, I think, would have been more effective if we'd used that um, flinching move instead. But we, we tried. Um, I say we were, were going to go on a raid. I don't have anybody live. Um, any of my mods still here? If so, do one of you want to grab a link or something? I don't have anyone. Okay. That's okay. I like going on raids when we can, when we do have some folks, but sometimes there's just nobody live and that's okay. So that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. There's a puppy down there. There's a pity. That's a pity. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope to be live tomorrow, potentially with some more uh, Dynamax adventures uh, with John, Bry, and company. So yeah. I think on that note, we will leave you guys to your evenings. Have a great night, guys. Bye. Love y'all.